Welcome back to more Lord of the Rings Online. I'm Bridgeburner412, and we are heading into Garth Agarwin. And uh, we're going to move on over there. We're going to go ahead and take this off our bar. Um, and the Lone Lands. Um, Garth Agarwin quest that we have right here are there. But to pick up the instance quests, we come over here this guy i'm pretty sure although we can just do it from the instance finder uh and i think it goes barrows arboretum then fortress is how you're supposed to do it these are always in alphabetical order um so you can see here and here um so they don't go by level so i think you're supposed to do the barrows first and then the arboretum and then the fortress last so the, both the barrows and the arboretum are three person quests so I'm thinking we should be able to do those without too much problem. But without further ado, uh, we need to ride on over to the area. So let us head over. Just look and see if there's anything I need to turn in or sell. I think we have enough room. We're gonna see here. We're level 35. The the quest levels are level 32 to 35. So we'll be roughly on level with the stuff. And, and of course, in our last episode, we put in our Stone of the Tortoise XP Disabler. Because we're going to, if this goes belly up, we're going to head over to the Troll Shaws and get that started good and proper back into the epic and such over in the Trollshaws region. First, we're going to head over to Garth the Garwin and see what awaits us, see how well we can do. I'm not sure if there are any, you know, multi-person mechanics that are going to get in our way. Uh, hopefully no. Gonna try to just run on through to get to this area. And uh, I think we have to go this way. I cannot remember how to get there. Uh, whoops. This way. How do we get there? This looks like a dead end up here. Oh, we're off our horse. stop and kill some people. Apparently we have some quests for that too. Uh, let me just take a little gander here. How we're supposed to get over there. Embarked Reclamation. So I think you go into Gartha Garwin and you go around. Been a while. Let's try to go this way and see what happens. I thought this was like oh, this was like a dead end where we fought Ivar. Bloodhead. Oh, maybe not. Okay, this is starting to look more familiar. Get the business going on these guys here. Go away. This little novice is giving us some trouble. Caltrops out of here, dude. Hey, rat. Our 
lots of baddies in the way. Just trying to get there. Gonna get conked a lot. And as we start the instances, we'll put on our food and our buffs and all that kind of stuff. In fact, while we get over there, why don't we just do it now? We'll use some of our lighter level food. Oh, he saw us. that was hideous. It was. Oh, it's only plus one. That should not be an issue. There's another chest. Let's go in here and bust these guys in the mouth. Dare you? I guess the guys with the big old hammers. What do you got in the chest? Okay, so I haven't ever mentioned what these mustering hordes are for. If you are in a fellowship, if you have, uh, you know, one person go to the camp, he can then muster. You just click on it. You know, it's not going to let me do it. And then you can select your your party members to to port to you. Uh, let's see what the Aglain Barterer what has. What's need? Oh, of the Aglain Provider. That's pretty good. What do we need for that one? Five Aglain tokens. Uh, Sword of the Eklund Defender. That's an upgrade. I want to get one of those. Uh, 23 Might. Vitality Agility. Yeah, that's pretty good. Lose some crit rating, though. Which is a bit unfortunate. What's the dagger do? But the dagger has the crit rating. Might Agility Parry rating crit rating. This one lacks the vitality, but we don't have any vitality on our on our swords anyway, so that might be something to look into. Sort of the alignment. Okay, so this is for casters. This is for. Okay, so there are some things we could look we could look to get there. Um, I thought there were some jewelry pieces too, but apparently not. Oh, browse the shop. Let's see. What can I do for you? We can sell a whole bunch of our stuff here, so we might as well, might as well sell the stuff we're not using. We should open those cases first, though, just to see if there are any useful recipes. Dark green, so we want to send that over to our scholar. I don't know if he has dark green or not. We got choose recipe. Apparently, I don't have that one. 
that. All right, back to the shop. What do you need? And sell. So this stuff is kind of useless. So we'll sell all that. Oh, no repair here. Um, it's kind of a useless vendor. Uh, but stay a moment. Defeat Tamer the Devoted. Misguided and lost. So lost that they cannot be redeemed according to Radagast. Their atrocities against nature are so great that there is no forgiveness. They are led by a woman, a terrible woman named Tamer, who they believe is a link to the Red Maid. Because of this, she is revered as something greater than they are. I ask that you push beyond these walls and seek out this woman. Bring her down. Prove these misguided men that they have misplaced their faith. Okay. Um, so these quests, I, th I don't think are involved with the instances so let's go ahead and take these off because we're going to try the instances um and i don't know you know i thought they would give us some of the instance material but i don't know let's just go ahead and get it started here do the barrows first uh so let's go ahead and launch that Tells us. Challenge Ivar. Optional objective whites. Let's get back here before this guy sees us so we can kind of look. Challenge Ivar. Defeat Ivar the Blood Hand without destroying his banners. Do not destroy Ivar's despaired banner white. Do not destroy Ivar's watchful banner. We're most likely not going to be able to do any of these challenges because um, you would have to have one of your party members pick up the aggro of these other things. And, um, you know, we're not going to be able to do that. So we're going to have all of the things pounding on us all of the time. So uh, we will not, I don't think, be able to heal through that. Uh, defeat Hillman and done lendings. Okay, so this is... Enmity of the Hillman 1. So we need to kill 150. So we'll, we'll make some progress here as we go through. But uh, we have no maps available for us for the instance. So we'll just kind of... Oh, we were going to put on some scrolls. We'll save our tokens in case there's dread as we proceed. Seven. So I have to utilize our heals and frenzies and all of our good stuff appropriately. Try to pull, pull groups, create lines of sight issues. Knock down ain't great. I probably shouldn't have fired that quite so early, but let's go ahead and back out of this. Back out of this business. All right, that wasn't too bad. Let's see if we can pull these guys over here as well for those pathers. You don't want to get too many groups. Um, that's going to be the problem: is getting knocked out. Um, If you have too many people pounding on you when you're knocked out, that ain't good. Uh, what's our food? We got two more minutes, two more, or 11 more minutes over there. Keep clicking on things and it sends me to the wrong. So, so far the trash is not proving at all difficult. We are getting hit pretty good more than usual. I think the chieftains have a little bit higher armor value than the others. 
Oh, we do have to defeat whites. I was saying that. I don't think there are any whites, but we do have to defeat whites. Right, see if this brings both of them or just the one. Of course, this is my big swing AOE. This is my big swings single target. So that's, and this is single target as well. Oh, no, that's a uh, that's multi-target as well. I should remember that. I've been operating on the assumption that that was also single target. I could not pop that skill to get my weapon back. since I've been here, friends, so uh, please bear with me. This gate has opened, so maybe you kill all of the enemies out here and it will open the gate. Both gates. Okay. Avenge my death followers. Open? Can we open this? Twisted arms. Maybe we have to kill the twisted arms. There we go. Okay, so I think killing the enemies around here opened this gate. And then this gate was opened from the twisted arms. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and pop a token. Because there are some, some whites around. It is closed. Looks like we're supposed to go around. So let's bring this guy over and get rid of him. Okay, that took a little bit to kill that guy. Uh, so I'm guessing we have to kill and then come back to get into this case. Twisted lights. Bell lights. Chest up here. Ooh, we should have got some more of these. we can get those from our our VIP oops not the vault, not the vault. I wanted to store. browse the shop oh this is just for selling can repair though which is good see what we got there shoes Violet dye. I don't care about violet dye because it's ugly. Tools of the Arson Woodsman. Okay, we'll be able to sell all that, all that garbage. Open up the chest here. Some stuff. Crafting stuff. Alright, let's proceed. Come on, 
fell out. Cooperate and die. Thank you. If things start to go really badly here with the uh, with this, I can craft um, a suit that will help our resistance to uh, to disease. Um, let me jump back here, and we'll go back to our our deal here. We'll go to the auction hall. And, um, let's just see what comes up for soup. Recipes. These are all going to be higher level than what we can use. Um, and Rosie. Food and drink. But fortifying. Yeah, let's just see what comes up with fortifying. We need the yellow ones. That's minimum level 80. Yeah, so these are all higher than we can do here. But we'll just sort of carry on, see how we do. Maybe we'll start to use our our potions here a little more carefully like if we think we need them Major disease is hitting us for power, power drain. So that isn't too much of a problem for us. Um, power hit, we're not really struggling for power, but uh, I think in the instance here, it's gonna take all of its uh, energy or all of its time to take down we go over this way, we'll go over this way after we kill. Let's go look and see what's over here first. It looks like a whole new area over there, so let's let's go this way and see what's over here. I wonder if this is the way to open up the other gate, like a shortcut. starting to use our battle frenzy a lot more because of the crit buff that we get uh, it's quite a buff like 500 okay uh, this guy's a named dude he's got 19,000 got this crazy ring going on so let's try to get rid of our evilness our food is worn off so we're gonna go ahead and activate some of our high-powered food that going. Our scrolls are looking good. All right. Uh, he's probably going to bring up some ads, I imagine, but let's just get in there and see what happens, shall we? Hi. How are you? Just 
gonna kill you. We're, we're, we're tickling him. frailty what are you doing here oh this guy's no joke Something hit us pretty good. Oh, we got him, Boomba. Something hit us pretty good there. It seemed like we lost a whole bunch of health real fast. The way to Ivar is now open. Okay. So that would be, I would think, the gate that was over here. So I guess can I mount up in here? Oh, boo. So I guess that other way. Um would have led us to a point where we couldn't advance. There would be a gate that would be closed. And then we would be wondering, how do we open that? So I think our instincts were correct in terms of not so much of getting a shortcut, but in terms of progression. And as we come through, um, we are not going to have to kill if we die we're not going to have to kill all of these ads again we'll be able to just run to the boss fight now remember also friends this is a three man instance so this is not um isn't the six man. So six man instance, pretty sure on that other fight we would have died. Oh, look who's here. It's Sarah Oakhart. Interesting. Is it still good? Uh-oh. I was just trying to talk to my little friend there. Gotta get all up in my business. Oh, you're gonna stand in your puddle, huh? And shoot me. Get interrupted and get dead. Alright, let's see what Sarah has to say. We haven't seen her for a while. Hi, Sarah. What's going on in here? Oh, young one. You have come to me again. possibly get here. Feather. Useless. I think pretty much everything here is going to be uh, yeah, everything here is going to be useless. But we'll accept her quest anyway. We must hurry, young one. I guess you have to hit her quest in order to... Uh oh! Arms! Her arms! Get locked in here. 
wonder, did we get locked in the other? I don't think we got locked in the other one. Does this tick off? It's not saying that it ticks off. Uh, where did she go? Did she run all the way up here? Oh no, she's gonna die. We're gonna fail this quest. What a joke. What an idiot. Here we're trying to look at something. She just bolts. Remember how slow she was when we saw her the first time? Now she just makes a bolt for it. She back here. Nope. What an idiot. She is. Not me. Her. What a dope. This is the shortcut back to there. Uh, but where are we meant to go? From here. I don't think there was any other way back here. path that we could take. Is there a gate somewhere that we missed? in here we were meant to find. in, aren't we? I think, did we miss a turn somewhere? Oh, it was this one. Remember this gate? Okay. Maybe we didn't have to go around there. Was this open? 
after we killed this guy, I bet we just ran right past it, thinking it was this way. And it was right here. Okay, well that's alright. We got our little optional Sarah O'Cart stupidity quest. Okay, um, yep, this looks like a boss fight. Let's check our stuff. What's our foods? Four minutes. We can probably get an attempt in four minutes. 19 minutes, seven minutes. I think we'll be okay. So let's go in again and get started. My eye and the iron crown rise from this flesh. Yeah! I serve a new wretch. Okay, so let's, we're going to have to kill the ad, so there's no way we're going to be able to do this killing the ads. So we lost the challenge, but that's okay. Um, got 19. I wonder if I could have done the challenge. The twice went down pretty fast. But a lot of our attacks are AoE, so... Um, and all of these things would have... We would have started collecting all of these... And, uh, let's go ahead and pause this. Pop that up. What killed us? Not bad. Four seventy four shadow damage. Go hit one eighteen, so that's not that big. Tier one. Hit, melee attack. So I was dealing the damage, but something something was draining my something seemed to be draining my morale real fast. Uh, okay, so we're we are right at the front of the instance. So all of our buffs are gone. So we will head back. I'll speed this up. Okay, we're back. I've gone ahead and purchased some morale potions. A bubble potion that'll help us, as well as uh, morale potions, since we're trying to uh, solo here. Um, and we need to get our food going again. So let's get our, our big chunk of food. Okay, we're going to want our scrolls on. I don't think dread was an issue in there, so I think we might be okay. So without further ado, let's jump back in there. Start it up again. Okay, so the first baddie showed up here. There is dread. So, oh, we can't we can't remove these. That's not good. Um It's not letting me uh oh. It also is not letting me this, 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 that. Should help us quite a bit. That. Popping up, and apparently they're timed. 
So uh, we'll give it one more try and just see what happens here. We did better. But the problem is burning down the ads fast enough. So we've got to... Um, maybe I can use my horn a little bit more to help. Uh, the cooldown on the bubble potion is one minute. Uh, cooldown on the universals I think are two, just like just like our Athelas essences. Okay, we're out of dread though. So, these again, our scrolls are on cooldown. Yeah, this is not gonna go well. Uh, what do we have? We have, so these I think have a 10 minute cooldown. So we'll just give it one more try here. It ain't gonna be great, but um, Gonna hit us with this this crap right from the beginning. Look at the dread. Yeah, the dread is dread isn't good either. We can keep him in a spot. Get all of our goodies. line of sight over here maybe I don't think so I think we gotta kill this guy uh oh yeah yeah we cannot we cannot do this but we had fun it was a good learning experience so uh, we will come back and revisit Garth Agarwin in the future, and we will pound them into the dirt. So in our next episode, we're going to jump on into the Troll Shaws and start our Troll Shaws quests, and then uh, we will come back and give Ivar the dirty a uh, little bit further along in our adventure. So thanks for tuning in, and we will see you next time.